good info. It's not just any info. It's good info. He posted this earlier. And uh, I agree with a lot of these statements, but I want you guys to open up your, I guess you could say, put you know your, your think tank hat, hat on and think outside the box. So he says, you know, Jasmine Consortium, creating a trade operations ecosystem. Let's pull this up. Put this on the other page for a second. Let's just get into some of the key highlights about this. So Neo, in my opinion, really did a well with this job of putting this together. Um, he talks about creating a trade operations ecosystem. And if anything, for you, if you're watching this, I want you to see all of what we're sharing with you tonight from the past, present, and even the future. I'm going to show you this whole thing of this ISO standard. And I want you to look at it from the perspective of it's a well-connected ecosystem through people that are enablers and give opportunity for these other organizations to basically just do that be like a you know a a trade operation ecosystem so we have talked a lot about ntt data okay um we've even talked about for instance uh m letter and so on just talk about xdc and, and so on trade always stands out when it comes to xdc but what about this whole thing of like for instance jasmine well look at this for a second Back in 2017, NTT Data launched the consortium in August of that time with leading Japanese companies in regards to trade operations. The consortium has been working on building a trade information platform using blockchain tech. And uh, sorry, I was on that right screen. In order to implement a trade information platform on a societal scale, the platform has to solve the common problems of all parties involved let me just double check my settings because you guys are just now seeing this yes so yes all parties involved a little bit more about this the tech must um, attain credibility let me just get down to this part make it that much bigger yes the tech must attain credibility as a social infrastructure and reach compliance with relevant legal and regulatory authorities so that right there think about this for a second the tech what tech what credibility what social infrastructure so if we're talking about you know your googles your amazons your facebooks and so on that is a centralized authority right gafa but if you have something that is a decentralized social infrastructure if you will that is in compliance with relevant legal and regulatory authorities i do immediately think of jasmine because they've already been there they already done that to address these issues the consortium is setting up uh, working groups focusing on operational flow. Yes. Who's been talking about this for a while? I've been talking about how, even though, you know, like has been pointed out to me, even in DMs that, you know, Jasmine and Quant, um, that, you know, like, you know, was it a horror is might be, maybe he's not even aware of Quant. That's beyond the point. The, the thing is in the future, because we talk about scalability, they would need to work with those particular working groups for the future. How so? AI blockchain, um, standards. We talk about IoT standards. All those standards follow under the umbrella of the ISO TC 307 standard. So again, I want to point out to everybody who's like, man, a lot of the stuff you mentioned, Max, is really speculative. You got to keep in mind this panels at home more. And I'll give you another example here in a bit that you have to have consortiums and you also have to work with the working groups. Like it says, operation of flow and the laws and regulations. So they already met regulatory compliance, especially in Japan with the FSA and so on, JVCEA. So been there, done that. But how do you work with the working groups and especially when it comes to standards? And I like, you know, that. Uh, Neo X Tricks posted this. So when I got more into this, I said to myself, well, I like what Neo has here. But I also want to remind people of this. Two years ago, Jasmine, uh, CEO, Kunitaki Ando, director of JIN, J-I-N. Now, some people don't know about this. Some people do. And if anything, let's jump into this. It's an, uh, it's an innovation management systems corporation with a jaw-dropping client list of the usual suspects. Now, we've already seen a jaw-dropping client list when it comes to Bichette. 
Uh, we understand, you know, Google is one of the big names on that list. I think there's some other ones, Toshiba, um, some other big names. But, you know, those are a couple that really, really stand out ahead of the pack. Well, let's jump into this for a second. So for one, you do see some of this list, and hopefully I can blow this up just a tad bit more as well. Let me see if I can. Um, yes, I can. And basically, like it says, Sony, obviously, Panasonic, we talked about them, Hitachi, Japan Tobacco, Inc., NTT Data, interesting. West Japan Railway Company. Remember, we was talking about the whole thing of bullet trains in Japan, all towards the whole common concept of Society 5.0. Get more into this. You see some other big names. And let's get into the top right. So, NTT, uh, excuse me, NTT, Docomo. Um, I'm just going with some of the ones that really stand out for me. NEC, like I mentioned, my first monitor was an NEC monitor. I hated that monitor. It was a 13 inch monitor. And, you know, I had a compact Presario 20, 2600 uh, with only, uh, it didn't even have a 3D, you know, accelerated video card. It could only play commandos on it. But I was thankful for that. That's beyond the point. But it was an NEC monitor, 13 inch. And it was, had a max output of 1024 by 768. Anyway, old, old gripe, right? But anyway, NEC is still a big company. And, you know, JX, Nippon uh, Mining and Metals, we talked about them. Um, and obviously Hitachi is a big name, right? So those are all very, very big names. Like it says, Jasmine CEO, Kun Takiano is also what? Director of JI Engine and Innovation Management Corporation. Now, some people may point out like, you know, Max, like this is just another attempt to you, you know, wowing people, you know, this just sounds the same as budget. It's not the same as budget. And that's what's was worth, uh, excuse me, that is what is worth pointing out. So I'm going to pull up some more info in regards to this. <clears throat> and if anything, you're going to see, like it says right here, uh, and we can, we'll also take you right to the Jin site. Here's Kunitaki Ando, director, right? Very cool stuff. Getting more into this. Here is straight from the Jin site. And we're not going to, you know, put a lot of emphasis just on the gin site, but you need to have an idea of the bigger picture. We talk about a, you know, a specific consortium here and the ecosystem that's behind it to drive just that innovation. Now, before I introduce the whole ISO standard, I want that key thing to be stuck into your head, and that is innovation. Now, I want to pull this up. It says toward innovation nation. Join us realizing an innovation nation where innovation emerges from every organization. I don't have it zoomed in a lot here. I understand that. But you talk about this age of systematic innovation, and it gives you a lot of particular info. And if anything, I will go ahead and zoom in a little bit more on this one because it needs to be. <clears throat> and here it is. They talk about this is where innovation management an innovation management system, which is IMS, makes these efforts effective, efficient, and how they come into play. Now, look what's mentioned here. Today, systematic efforts in fostering innovation are spreading globally, exemplified by who? The ISO 56000 series of international standards for IMS. Now, I'm not saying this is a smoking gun or anything like that. You know, some people say, well, there's fire, there's smoke. But I have been pointing out for the longest time, and I do get criticism about it, and it's okay. I mean, people DM me, and they, don't, they agree, they disagree, and that's okay. But you have to keep in mind, I don't do this just because, hey, I also cover quants. I point out standards for a reason, and I especially point them out with the connections to Japan. ISO TC307 standard is a legitimate standard that has also working groups for both, as we know, IoT, and artificial intelligence. And that just scratches the surface. There's a lot more to it than just that. But once again, something about this statement, because now you understand that if Kunotaki Ando with Jasmine, with Sony, with Budget, and also Jin, this is something that's worth pointing out because this whole concept of a what if for the future when it comes to 
recognizing standards that Gilbert Verde has, has uh, pointed out in regards to like quant network, but also recognizing other standards are part of the ISO working groups. Now you have the idea that, hmm, that might actually be a real thing. And Max is on to something because we currently have it. What is that? Well, let's jump into what specifically that is. And before we do, I will read this part. Innovation is not confined to a sporadic event or technological advancements alone. Instead, it should be placed at the heart of management activities. Think about this for a second, management activities. We know when it comes to jazz, I mean, there's a lot of management activities, some that we agree with, some that we don't. Some people don't agree with the whole thing of how they go about the promotion of, you know, marketing. They feel like it's, it's basically null. It's not there. But the heart of these management activities, you could basically see or say that's, you know, the Jasmine management team. And look what it says. And is uh, indispensable for companies and organizations to sustain themselves in society and the marketplace. Interesting. Because what is Jasmine trying to accomplish when it comes to society 5.0 and even what? A decentralized data marketplace. Just saying, interesting. Getting more into this, as Japan's representative to the ISO committee for IMS, JIN is committed to supporting companies for their evolution towards the management system of the future and intellectually creative organization. We seamlessly integrate innovation management systems with conventional frameworks. Oh, really? Is that so? What kind of framework have we been talking about for the longest time when it comes to DFFT, data free flow with trust, and how that framework was introduced to Europe? And we even have that template over here in the United States, but we don't have the Dems fully on board with it yet. Again, do your own research. We connect the dots for a reason, but everything that we've mentioned for about a year now is all lining up. Look what it says. This ensures the sustained growth and success of your organization. Think about organizations that are tied into it. JASME is part of the bigger picture, Society 5.0. Now look at this for a second. Let me introduce the this particular ISO standard to you. Once again, another ISO standard. Now, why would I point this out? For one, I want you to understand the significance of this. This states straight from ISO.org, and you can look into it more yourself. I don't need to drop a link for you. Just, you know, look more into it yourself. ISO 5600 or 56002. Uh, this is the ISO 222, ISO 56002. Innovation Management, Innovation Management System Guidance. You know, it has this abstract. It talks about, you know, it's a guidance for the establishment and implementation, maintenance, and cons, uh, continual improvement of an innovation management system for all established organizations. It's applicable to quite a few. We'll get into some of this in a bit. But organizations seeking sustained success by developing and demonstrating their ability to effectively manage innovation activities to achieve intended outcomes. Users, customers, and interested parties seeking confidence in innovation capabilities as an organization talks about how interested parties seeking to improve communication through a common understanding of what constitutes an innovation management system. But there's a lot here. Look at this. Policy makers aiming for higher effectiveness of support program targeting, innovation capabilities, competitiveness, organizations, and the development of society. Obviously, smart society, society 5.0. But you got to keep in mind, when you go further down here, it talks about the benefits of this. It talks about, for instance, um, uh, you know, how it could benefit specific products like IoT products, services, the models. Um, there's just a lot to it, right? And you can obviously nerd it out more if you want to, you know, download more of the information. But the point is, it's, it, it is a standard. And since it's a standard, there has to be a bigger picture in regards to this. So let's talk about this for a second. Let's introduce this. The very beginning of this video is a little bit loud. I'll have to turn it down and then I'll turn it back up. But it's uh, straight from the ISO working group, and it talks about this right here in a video from June 22nd, 2021. And I love what's mentioned here. It says, ISO 56,000 suite of standards and guidance documents on innovation management offers a systematic approach to integrate integrating innovation into all layers of an organization. Now, before I play this, I want to state this real quick. Hara did sign by request from Yanislav, I think it was, 
in regards to getting us off of the Binance Innovation Zone for Jasmine.us. All right. What should also be mentioned, just in case they don't take us off of there, is taking CZ and saying hello, or not CZ, sorry, he's not in charge anymore, but Binance and saying hello. You know, you place Jasmine in the innovation zone, but are you guys aware of the connections? Now, Jasmine's not officially ISO 222, but it's part of what? It's part of a consortium ecosystem for this particular standard through GIN, because it's part of the GIN working group of ISO 56000 series on innovation management. So innovation through a particular ISO standard, wouldn't that be enough to convince some Yahoo over at Binance that we, as in Jasmine holders, feel as though that, you know what? Yeah. If we're part of a ISO 56000 series innovation management group, technically speaking, through this consortium, then that is it in itself. Innovation. You don't put us in this particular, you know, area. Take us off of that, right? And we've had a lot of momentum. So let's go ahead and give us an intro to what this is all about. Again, it's only a minute and 27 seconds. So I have to turn it down for a second. And uh, we'll get back into a little bit more about this here in a bit. Here we go. Innovating isn't easy. It means doing things that have never been done before and stepping outside of your comfort zone. When we unleash our creativity, it can be challenging to keep track of new ideas and develop them to fruition. ISO has a series of standards that do just that. They provide organizations with ways of defining what innovation means to them and the tools to help turn ambition into success. The ISO 56000 suite of standards and guidance documents on innovation management offers a systematic approach to integrating innovation into all layers of an organization. This helps to seize and create opportunities for the development of everything, from new products and systems and services to business models. They also bring many advantages, such as an increased ability to manage uncertainty, greater profitability, improved reputation and client retention, reduced cost, and a more empowered workforce. Innovation managed with ISO standards. Innovation in regards to ISO standards, right? Is this proof that Jasmine needs to be out of the innovation zone immediately? If anything, call it what you want. It will cause a stir in the community, and that's what we need. We need to keep this momentum when it comes to Jasmine. We already have some of that momentum, especially with Hara and some other members of the community, even myself and so on, signing that petition from change.org and showing, hey, please take us out of the innovation zone. But if we can continuously give examples by showing you like, hey, look at this ISO working group and so on, or this particular standard, especially when it comes to innovation, I think that's worth pointing out. Now, in conclusion, I'm going to show you some particular notes, right? Because I always do this, especially lately. So I showed you guys that video. I thought it was a pretty well done video for the most part. Kind of gives you a taste of this particular ISO working group. But ISO 56002, this particular standard, why is it so important? You know, is it just a nothing burger? Answer is no, not a nothing burger. Um, but basically, why is it so important? Well, it's a good question. You have to keep in mind that this is an international standard and it provides guidance specifically for the establishment, implementation, maintenance, and continual improvement of an innovation management system, which is called an IMS, for use in all established organizations, not some, but all, hence why we have standards. <clears throat> now, it is a framework that helps organizations do the following. So for one, to develop a systematic approach, of course, to just that innovation. So please, finance, take us out of the innovation zone. Manages 
innovation activities effectively and, of course, efficiently. And on top of that, this particular standard achieves the desired outcomes from specifically that, which is innovation. Now, a little bit more about why this particular ISO standard, which is 56002, is so important. So innovation, of course, as we know, is essential for organizations to remain competitive, right, and also be able to thrive in today's rapidly changing world. True. ISO 56002 can help organizations to do basically the following. And it's basically like four main things. So number one, it's going to increase their ability to innovate. Hence why we gave you those examples. And, you know, also Neo X Tricks showing you that, look, Jasmine is connected to a uh, particular ecosystem, like uh, consortium of an ecosystem, especially in Japan. Number two, it's going to improve their innovation and, of course, their performance. Number three, achieve their strategic, of course, objectives. Think about everything that Jasmine has been doing in regards to keeping their promise, sticking to that white paper, despite all the criticism from, I hate to say it, other influencers and so on. And number four, that sustained success in the long term. Forget the short term. If you understand what Jasmine is all about, you're not going to day trade it. Not financial advice, but I'm not. But that said, it's a long-term hold. Understand the mission, and especially when it comes to the goals of the Jasmine management team. They came out with KPI targets of 2026, that specific year, for a reason. They didn't mention 2024, 2025. 2026 is a specific reason. Understand why you know, we have that particular year, because it has to do with particular targeted goals. Again, the sustained success for the long term. And you also got to keep in mind that there's other numerous benefits when it comes to uh, organizations that implement this particular ISO 56002 standard. And it does include a few more things. And basically, like we said, it's going to increase innovation productivity. Say what you want, but when it comes to IoT, there's a lot of things that are involved when it comes to productivity, all sorts of devices and so on. How about improved innovation outcomes? How about reduced innovation risks? And how about even cost? You make something that is more innovative and also saves organizations time and money, that's a big game changer. What about enhanced collaboration and communication? Those examples we gave in regards to a consortium ecosystem is game changer having those connections to hitachi and nec and you know some of these other ones that we talked about sony that's a big big deal you will see an outcome in regards to increased decision making customer satisfaction and how about us as in retail holders getting a piece of that market share last but not least you have to keep in mind that we will see a financial you know increase uh in performance for certain economies, in particular, Japan. In conclusion, keep in mind that when it comes to ISO 2, uh, not ISO 222, I've been saying that for over a year, right? Almost two years. When it comes to ISO 56002, it is a voluntary standard, but at the same time, it has been adopted by organizations of all sizes, industries around, of course, the world is a valuable tool for any organization that is serious about doing just that, innovating. So should Jasmine stay in the innovation zone or do more people, including Binance, need to know more about what Jasmine is connected to? Binance, you need to take Jasmine out of the innovation zone and you need to do it as soon as possible.